it doesn't even need to be physical right when we get to augmented reality being something that mm. we can have like either implanted into our eyes or through our goggles we don't need and hit here's something that users brought up which i think is quite interesting that i don't think many people have thought about when we have augmented reality and we have ai that can like you know uh implant a human being mm. people may never need to die you could just have people who've died moving around the world around you and their patterns of how they move how they talk how they think Let's especially especially if you can upload your subconscious into a uh, into yeah. a computer you don't need a physical form. You just move around as a digital image of yourself in a world where your your thought processes have already been uploaded. And it's actually you, but without a physical form. So we've wow. got some versions of that now. There was a cover article on Wired magazine where uh, he wasn't even a software guy. I think he was a journalist. He interviewed his sick dad for about 18 months who had cancer. Mm-hmm. about Everything about his life. Mm-hmm. And he created a chatbot that was his dad. And the AI answers him the way that he did would based on all of the life experience that he had. So they've got that mental template of it. Yeah. All we need now is the physical template and you put the two together mm-hmm. and then you, you get exactly but what you're speaking about. J- just to touch on that one though, like what would be the benefit of that scenario? You we don't know, but we know yeah. that when it's possible, people make it. Yeah. It's like, I, what's the I, benefit of a nuclear bomb? It's like it's not going to stop humans doing it, right? Yeah, because the, the, um, the reason I say that is because I hear people get excited all the time about the fact that we, you know, we know how to extend our telomeres. We know that death is just a sickness that we will probably be able to you know figure our way around at some point in time but that doesn't really you know that doesn't really give us the ability to have more people on the planet you know so the digital version would you know having people around maybe it's for the person who does have a consciousness who is alive to have their loved one with them still maybe that would be cool i guess creepy but cool um but the living forever thing bums me out because i reckon we'll get there but (coughs) we're gonna need a whole another bunch of planets to Shoot people off to it. Do you fit think them all so? In. I reckon there's enough energy on the earth. You know, there's already. I'll give you a What stat, about space? space. Well, what if space no one dies? Well. Means we can't have kids. Can we? I don't know. Maybe we can. I don't know. Maybe we could just build other extra levels into into this. Just well, there's enough energy on Earth. The people think that there's not enough energy. For example, well, the sun now, would give us enough. We energy, make enough it? calories to feed 60 billion people already today. Did you? Yeah, know that? yeah, yeah. 60 well, billion. I didn't know that, but that doesn't. Well, okay. So me. what happens is padding the play. <laughs> I mean, just think about it, right? Let's just think about. I don't know. Um, bananas mm-hmm. have you ever had a banana in your house that you didn't get around to eating yeah about five of them <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that dude he's so bad of course he's, he is he buys a massive bunch of bananas <laughs> and I, just, I just slowly with watch good him intentions. just go banana purchases <laughs> come with good intentions yeah. always and so you buy the bananas but you know the ones that got to the supermarket the ones that were a bit green a bit brown and not not curved enough mm-hmm. they got thrown out there was some that got damaged in production then there was some that didn't get there then they didn't sell then you brought them home and then you ate a couple and then you threw them out and even when you ate the banana you really only ate one third because there was that little brown bit and you took that off and you threw that out yeah you're who would eat a brown bit? Brown won't bit. stop you eating a savlaki at two in the morning but a brown <laughs> bit on a banana no way yeah, yeah you feed that no shit to your dog <laughs> right exactly and so there's already enough calories yeah. on earth 